Palestinian terror attacks on Israeli citizens have been so frequent that even now as I'm recording this video, there's been another stabbing attack and I cannot help but think and remember what happened to me. The recent attacks have brought things back to me in a very uh, profound way because I know what it's like. And there's a problem with the word stab, especially in Hebrew, because it's the same word as pricking somebody with a pin needle. And in any case, anybody who is undergoing a stabbing attack, it's much more than a pin needle. It's like razors over your skin. It's a hot poker going into your flesh and being tugged out again. It's like um, fingernails being ripped off all over your skin. So there's a physical sensation and then there's the adrenaline, which is like you're driving along the freeway and, and uh, you just miss a car wreck and your whole body floods with the adrenaline. Or it's like somebody coming up and they pretend to push you over a cliff. You know, that rush you get. But when you're being stabbed, it's happening continuously. And then there's the sudden dry mouth from fear and the shock and the, the, the gelid cold, freezing cold, and it doesn't matter what the weather is outside. And then there's the sounds. In my case, I heard Allah Akbar. In that context, was very terrifying. And then you have, you know, the grunts, the sheer force, the sheer force which breaks bones. So this whole thing has brought back a lot for me. And I know for the re recent people, the casualties, it's going to be a lifelong process for them too. I would like to say that uh, as a victim of Palestinian Islamist terrorism, uh, it is something that will stay with you all your life. There's no such thing as closure. You will never get over it. But I also want to say, because we're in Israel and the Jewish people have always chosen life and we're a community and together we can get through this because Moses tells us to choose life. And so what I found helpful for me is not to deny that I was a victim of a terror attack, but to choose the word survivor. You know, survivor, it has more of a purpose and we might not be able to work out why things happen and why bad things happen, uh, but we can make sense out of senselessness. So I just want to say to you all personally, whatever I can do to help, which isn't much, I'm there for you. And so are all the good people of Israel. Stop the incitement. Behind every single terror attack lays a system of institutionalized Palestinian incitement. It is in your schools, your universities, your curriculums. It's in your media. It's in every fabric of your society. No such thing as a random act of terrorism. I would also like to say to you that the Jewish people, we are here to stay. The State of Israel is here to stay, so get over your Israel tantrum and build yourselves a better future. Why don't you introduce into your curriculum the classics, the arts, music, things that we've treasured throughout the years. And lastly, I'd like to say to you that I have been a victim of a horrendous Palestinian terror attack, but I've learned to choose life. And I've lost everything. I lost my friend, I lost my health, I lost my dignity, I lost the ability to provide for myself, I lost sleep, I lost weight, I lost anonymity, I lost my innocence. But because I come from a civilized society that chooses life, I've been able to walk through and carry this nightmare with me and choose for the best. And you too, you're made in the image of God and you can do the same. So stop the incitement and choose life and make yourself a better people. I'd imagine that everybody watching this video wants peace and I want peace. And in order for peace to happen, I think we can do a few things and work together for a better world. Firstly, I'd like to ask you, each and every one of you, to lobby your governments and demand that the cessation of funding of incitement that leads to terrorism. This will be better for Israel and it will be better for the Palestinians themselves. 
Secondly, I'd like to ask you to have an inquiry in mind, not to believe a word anybody says, but to check it out for yourself. And then you'll learn that this is not a cycle of violence. This is absolutely linear. And thirdly, I'd like to say that the people of Israel, we've been around for a few millennium and we're going to carry on being around. And this is a beautiful country. We have coexistence. We have Arab and Jew working together. And your part, every single thing that you do will help us create a better community and a better land. So please come and visit. Am Israel Chai.